Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my bedroom as I'm attempting to watch everything because everything decided to drop this week. Hmm. But it is the season two finale of Black Sales and holy crap, Ola, what is happening? Miranda, Miranda, Miranda. What infuriates me most about that is that we got to see the trauma she has been carrying for how many years? How many years has it been since her husband was taken, put into asylum where he has died? I'm still questionable on that. He died in an asylum. Her and her lover went out and had to start a whole new life. She was so vengeful. She sent James to kill her former in-laws. And then she finds out that it was their good friend that set that all in motion and was justifiably upset. And then his, uh, I don't even like Mr. Ratty, whatever his name is, just took her out because he, uh, you know it was because he wanted any excuse, any, any excuse to shoot someone. And oh, to shoot a woman? <laughs> oh, I, mm. But now Flint's also imprisoned and Vane's gonna go rescue him. After slaughtering a whole bunch of people on the former walrus. <laughs> Randall's dead. Everybody's dead. Okay, okay, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Sure, I'm ready. I'm glad that you're with me. Thank you so much for being with me. On this journey so if you haven't already you can watch this whole thing with me on patreon beginning to end just hit sync up your copy with me we hit play we have a good time Woohoo! otherwise you can leave a like subscribe leave a comment what about this season has made you go i would love to know my citrus beverage for the evening is good old-fashioned it's not an old-fashioned no old-fashioned this week amaretto sour this has become a new favorite of mine is delightful. Okay, I think we're prepared, so let's get to it. Is this Abigail? I was wondering, we heard her screaming. At least I was pretty sure it was her screaming. Abigail, I've made arrangements for you to be shuttled to Savannah today. Mm hmm. You'll be taken to Mr. Ashford's house. I'd like you to stay there for a few days. Why would you want me to stay there? So you don't have to see the horrors of how I turned on my friends. You know what's going to happen in the square. You're going to kill Mr. McGraw. But it's also something I'm not comfortable exposing you to. Hmm. It's for my will, hmm. that you want me to leave. For your own. What? Mm-hmm. I'm asking if you're sending me away because you're afraid. Someone might ask me what happened in this house last night and that I would tell them. Abigail, I understand that you're upset. Why aren't you? <laughs> the only man, it seems to me, to have committed a crime in all this still works for you. Is that not the truth? She's not wrong. Whether they hang him or not, we came here to retrieve this ship. We've done so. That is broken. Ship's broken. But the world knows his name. They know him and his body swinging over the harbor of this place sends a powerful message. Where are the men about it? Well, those who think saving Flint's a good idea, you're taking ashore with you. Well, it wouldn't make much sense to take the ones who think it's a bad idea. <laughs> do you expect me to say to them, do you think, when they ask me why we don't just turn around, leave you here? The ship is broken. Tell them that if this ship tries to run on a skeleton crew, they're going to get chased, they're going to get caught, and they're going to get killed. See if that convinces them. <gasps> okay, Mr. Scott survived. If not more so. Who said anything about rescuing anyone? Uh, didn't Captain Vane? There's a significant difference between preventing Ash from making a trophy of Flint and saving Flint's life. Who's to say Vane doesn't help Flint escape from shore and then slit his throat the moment we're in open water? Or wait until they get to the beaches of Nassau. 
You can make this difficult if you wanted, forcing me to devote more men to guard you. But if you meant what you said, then causing trouble wouldn't make much sense, would it? You want me to help you keep my men under guard here? <laughs> Killing 50 strong men of Nassau, able to stand up and defend her. What kind of sense does that make? What about your men? Mm-hmm. But there aren't enough of them to sail the ship. If you can keep your men from provoking them, I am confident things will stand until I return. Confident. Wait. Take John with you. Your plan to rescue Flint isn't going to work. But there may be something I can give you to make it work. How much has he been talking to Abigail, I wonder? Is there a name spoken more frequently or with more revulsion than Flint? Yeah, Captain Bane. <laughs> What I said earlier, this outcome, it's not at all what I would have wanted. Well, even if he killed Miranda, this extra step was an extra step. Sign a confession for crimes that you have already tacitly admitted to me anyway. I'll see this process stopped. Sentence will be carried out quietly, privately, tomorrow. So the choice is public death or private death. <gasps> oh, you just fired him up. James McGraw is. Let her go to her rest peacefully. You cannot tell me that isn't what she would have wanted. She was clear about feeling. what she wanted. <laughs> that was to see you. And I don't think it had anything to do with begging your forgiveness. <laughs> Why did you betray those closest to you all those years ago? You're sitting on it. Was it really so small and vile as a bribe? Or were you simply too weak to say no? Too cowardly to do the harder thing and preserve your decency? Tell me this is all happening because of your cowardice. He's poking. He's poking. I might forgive that. Even in this moment, alone with a condemned man, you are unable to speak the truth. Well, I have a thought that uh, James McGraw is going to die this day. Employing his minions to dastardly ends, including a woman he conspired <gasps> with to murder our Lord Governor. Behold, <gasps> his minion. Oh, that's evil. That's evil amongst itself. Yeah, tell Abigail what happened today. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. I was running the tavern with, with Eleanor gone. Where is Miss Guthrie? Good question. Where does Honeygold arrested her? Handed her over to the Navy. Oh, so they do know what happened. I'm wondering if they would try her for piracy. Do you think they would do that to a woman? Hang her in front of a mob the same as they do to a man? Mm-hmm. As we've seen, ish, adjacent. How much money can I have on hand if I needed it? Find out for me, please. And have it made ready for me immediately. To buy what? Security? Cause I would, th so I would think if the person who was heading up the merchant part is gone, where are these merchants gonna because of that, create there? I have been coy with certain details, namely what it is exactly we'll be hunting. Yeah, they don't have any other connections to sell their goods. Brace yourselves, gents, uh, and let me tell you a story about a Spaniard named Vasquez. 
That's why he's starting with this. But. What? Last night. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> you saved me from something awful, Jack. And I owe you my life for it. But. I was at every tavern in that town. I'm trying to find our spies. They knew my name. The first thing they said every time was your name. Oh. I was two halves of the same thing. Oh. I can't be your wife, Jack. But. Oh. You and I are going to be partners till they put us in the fucking ground. Oh. <laughs> Unless you feel the same. Did he want her to be his wife? I know it's 1800s, but they're going their own road anyway. Hey. Hey. <gasps> I think I can help you get out of this place. You've got about eight votes. What? To be captain? For quartermaster. Like, under whom? There's an argument to be made that Vane would have set sail right away. And probably killed us all. And you're comfortable with this? Not remotely. What did he say? <clears throat> oh, they're going to stand up for Jack. John. I did too many J names. That's our brother you got there. Put him down. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Affidavits given by sailors on ships you attacked. Oh, good God. Oh my God. <laughs> and without regret. Do you dispute this? Oh, Splint gonna tell a story. <laughs> this forum is your opportunity to be heard. No one else is going to speak on your behalf. Will you say nothing in your own defense? I have one regret. <gasps> I regret ever coming to this place with the assumption that a reconciliation could be found. Oh, here he goes. Everyone is a monster to someone, since you are so convinced that I am yours. I will be it. Oh. Sir! Sir! That's it? That's it? That's all he's gonna say? That's all he's gonna say. What's going on? This is the plan. He says his name is Charles Vane, my lord. <laughs> he turned himself over, my lord. Hmm. I came to offer testimony in defense of Captain Flint. I needed popcorn. I needed popcorn for this. He was carrying this. Why would anybody consider you a credible character witness? It isn't my testimony. I came to offer. <gasps> it's your daughter's. <laughs> oh, it's the book! It's the book! It's the, her book! It's her diary! <gasps> I fear the stories I have heard may have clouded the truth more than clarified it. Well, no, you can't read it. You can't read it in secret. There's no way of keeping that out of the record. Of course you could. You could just throw it into the fire. Mm-hmm. Damning evidence. Or I should say damning act. That book might engender a couple of unpleasant months for you here, but what it will not do is affect the outcome of Flint's trial. Not with a jury we have impaneled. Hmm. The situation is Got well it. in hand, I assure you. Got it. I heard the Guthrie shipping concern was officially disbanded. 
Well, I in your situation, I might be willing to consider selling whatever interests I had left here and moving on to a more civilized place. I've heard I ought to expect this visit. <laughs> You'll find me less eager to sell than the others. So you're going to be partners now? The pirates of New Providence Island are about to become more powerful than they have ever been before. Is that truly something you want the responsibility of managing? So that's it. You believe you can leap into Ms. Guthrie's shoes? That is my offer to purchase your inherited interest in this tavern. I will expect your response by nightfall. Why offer more for this place than the others? Mm, you know why. History makes things expensive. <laughs> hmm. Now your friend over here says you're just the man to help us do it. I need more men than I have to fully accrue this ship. One list. Ten men. Those most likely to consent to join my crew. His crew. Help me sail this ship away. Not Vane's crew. <laughs> the men whose names aren't on that list. Ah, oh, and this drink. And this was Schmapty's idea. Told him we ain't got no real connection to this crew. No. I won't do it. <gasps> no. oh. Yeah. Oh, he was dumb. He was dumb. You're gonna give me those men. Now, if you kill me, what good will that do you? None. Whatsoever. Bill just... Oh, this is when John loses his leg. This is when we get one leg at John Silver. You'll let me know when I might have those names. Wait, wait, stop, stop. This is how John loses his leg. Or if his motives are something more deliberate than that. Now, I'm not going to lie. If I was down the street <laughs> and I saw them pray these two men to sit on a platform to be googled. In this time period, I probably would have gone down just to see what was happening. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Paying to take your ship. <laughs> Took it. Figured if anyone was going to make a trophy of you, really ought to be me. What happens next? Hmm. They're gonna make a run for it. Distract and run. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Distract and run. Once I'm free, whatever it is, you won't want to get in my way. Hmm. We will be moving to the jetty. Didn't come all this way to have them kill you steps from the gallows. Oh, I think Flint's got one more task to do before he leaves. They're all trying so hard to convince themselves that they have nothing to be afraid of. How's running going to change that? What do you suggest? <laughs> we remind them. <laughs> That they were right to be afraid. <laughs> oh, berserker mode. Berserker mode. <laughs> what are you doing? I wish to speak on behalf of the defendant. Step back and you'll have your chance. These men convinced you thoughts. that they speak for you. How dare you? That the power you've given them is used in your interests. The prisoner silence. before you is your enemy and they're your friends. For those of you who live to see tomorrow, know that you had a choice. To see the truth, and you let yourselves be convinced otherwise. Bailiffs, remove him. <laughs> they fired upon the people with the cannons. <laughs> oh, my lord! Oh, my lord. My lord. He's got one more task to do. And now he's got a sword. What? James. No. no hesitation. That's what I'm talking about. No hesitation. Her word would be the last word for this place. 
And that's the last thing you're gonna see before you die. Oh. What? The question you should be asking is, where are his keys? <gasps> and has he seen them since he took me away from my men? His men. His men. Man, you almost survived. You almost survived. <gasps> Billy! You're gonna leave without without either Flint or Vane. The day that Charlestown burned, burned. Oh my God! If they get to the jetty and see the ship sail away without them, they're doing this with their hands still bound together. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. But who did you stab behind? Who did you stab through to my other side? Go, let him go, let him go. The day that Charlestown burned. Okay, fellas, how well do you know this town and how to get your way out? Oh, oh, oh Mr. What's-His-Face! Roll, you bastard! That was the whistle. Someone give him some rum. That's it, make him bleed out. That's it. <laughs> He's gonna lose the leg. Take it. She was losing worse. Do what I can. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means, John, you're gonna lose the leg or sepsis and die. Oh my god. <laughs> they come back to this. They come back to this. <laughs> you since you left. <laughs> Those men. What? I know what happened, I don't care. I'm not hold pirates prisoner on this ship, not after today. Keep your men in line. Tag us back towards the sandbar, southwest corner of the bay. We'll start from there. Ready to guns! Full compliment! Oh, they are firing on the town. What's the target, Captain? The whole fucking town. Whatever's left. When the shock sets in, you may lose faculties. Some men lose their bowels. I can do it with as few as three or four men. We're not going anywhere. Oh, yeah, this is when John submits his legend. Fucking hear me. I said I do not want this. You die. The crew will look after you. Don't worry about that. Just like you looked after Randall. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. How do you, how do you knock him down? I kind of wish Ash was still alive to see this. Ready? Did he not immediately pass out? Oh, look at that ship sinking. Oh, he 
he is still upright. Okay, so if you didn't hear about what was going on downtown, and you're sitting eating tea in your kitchen, and then hell rained upon you, oh. Flint's in the captain's chair. Mm-hmm. We stopped off in Tortuga to refit and garner news, of which there was plenty. Oh, yeah, there is. For the first time since I've known it, there is no Guthrie in Nursau. No, no John is... said everything they thought they understood just a few days ago. This one you tell them that you know where the, the gold's the still there. In times like these, there are some things that can be counted on. I look to me for that. They look to you. I looked at the new quartermaster. <laughs> I think the men wanted to tell you when you were woke, so try and act surprised. Act surprised me. Turn him down because you sent Jack after the gold. There's something you ought to know before we reach NASA. Misfortune at the hands of Vane's lieutenants. Our friend, the scout you sent to oversee the Oka Beach, confessed something to me. He told me that the Oh, this is a way to spin it. It was a lie. Oh, Jack. John. So that he could sell the gold's location to another crew in exchange for a larger share of the prize. Oh, that was very handy for you, John. He told you this. That's why I lost my leg, sir. He lied to us all. And then he sold the information to another crew. Who the fuck did he sell it to? But when it comes out that it was John the one that sold, if it comes out. The information we were given was uh, incomplete. There were still healthy Spanish soldiers on that beach. And they fought. They fought. Is that the walrus? It is. We found her there. Oh. We needed to get her seaworthy before we could depart. Oh, but you need a second ship? We needed the hold space. Would <laughs> <laughs> you like to see something shiny? the real troubles begin I don't even know where to begin where to begin with this <laughs> so many thoughts so many thoughts how much carnage would have prevented if people just kept their shit together and this is also one of those times when you wonder if this was a crew of women just go with me on this one if there was a crew of women would they have been able to either plan a little bit better or strategize a little bit better and not been so quick to go with screw them we're out of here sometimes it's just a thought that i had but so much could have been prevented james mcgraw is officially dead i was expecting for tan ratty and Ran ashes guy to be a bigger villain maybe it's because they he was so striking as a, an immediate, you knew immediately how slimy he was. He might have survived for all we know, but it looked like they took him out pretty quick. But the constant flip-flop. John has now lost his leg. He is now Long John Silver. And Charlestown is burned to the ground. Did Abigail survive? I'm wondering, I was wondering about Abigail, if she had made it out or was safe. She's further enough inland. She would just see the destruction. So having the second guy in John's little tiny mini crew be taken out, perfect opportunity for him to say, oh, I heard him squawking. He sold news, but it's got to come back somehow that John was the mastermind to Jack, right? It would make sense. So how, how, how's John going to get out of that one? And the gold is now in Nassau. 
But now you've got to protect this gold. What are you going to do with it? You have it. It's on these ships. What do you do with it? What do you do with that? This much gold, people know you have it. You have to protect it. Because now we know any reconciliation, England, whatever, long gone, long gone. So now you're just setting yourselves up as a little mini empire. Yeah, but who's in control? And do we go after Eleanor? Because yeah, so I guess that's the big questions for season three. Who's going to be in control? And do they go after Eleanor? And how many more times is power going to flip-flop? And man, piracy, that's a job when you have no options. <laughs> exhausted i'm exhausted what that's a lot for me to process and i'm exhausted there we go end of season two two more seasons to go we are halfway in this tale don't tell me what happens next but holy crap thank you so much for being with me and until next time this is just a reminder to stand if it's been for a while touch your toes do some neck rolls Go get something to eat and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.